In this video, we're going to show you how to fillet a pompano and how not to miss the best meat. Okay, so what we have here is a Florida pompano. We're going to be filleting this guy to show you what uh, meat to keep and what not to keep. Pompano are a little bit different than other fish to fillet, so I want to make sure you get all the meat you can off of him. As always, we're going to start out with a really sharp fillet knife. So if you haven't sharpened it, go ahead and do that first. Now, the thing about pompano is that they have, I'll hold him up here, they have meat up here in their head, like all the way here, you can feel soft parts. Some people cook these whole, they grill them whole, and then they, they get the meat that way. But what we're going to do is kind of outline the head meat and then come around like we normally do behind the fin. So they, they do have micro scales, so some people take off the scales with the tip of a knife. You can kind of see there's little pieces coming off. Um, this guy has lines on it because I had tried with my regular uh, descaler and that wasn't doing anything. What I want to do is outline this head meat. I'm going to feel it here. I can feel that it is soft. Right about there. I'm going to outline. Right up around, you can feel where it gets soft. And then down here, like normal. And I found it's kind of easy, easier if you outline this bottom part a little bit. It'll help you later. Oh, if I can get it right. <laughs> Just a little bit, it doesn't have to be all the way through. But that will help. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to come down like normal along the spine. Sometimes it's tricky to make sure you're on this side of the spine. All the way down. So you don't want to miss that head meat because the head meat, some people believe, is the best part of the pompano. Oh, somewhere along here, I ended up on the other side of the spine. It's easy to do. And watch out for that. So, poke it through to the other side. Come down. Make sure you keep your fingers away from this fillet knife because if it slips, it's very, very sharp. You will cut yourself. Come back up. Attach that. All right, and now you can see a very well defined rib cage. See how close this is to the ribs? You can see those ribs right through there. We got almost every bit of meat off. Now, here you can see those ribs. You want to come right underneath them. So you don't want to lose much meat off of this pompano. Our fish and girl float rigs. We have these for sale in our store at fishing-girl.com. We make these in five different colors. We have the floats, as you can see, they are right on the hooks. And underwater footage, a lot of times they're sucking in the floats before they're sucking in the hooks in the bait. So check those out, but now back to the video. All right, we're gonna do the same on the other side. We're gonna outline, I'm gonna come around this way. Outline the head knee. Now this pompano I didn't end up bleeding out. I may have caught this one right either before I had to leave or before I started really learning about bleeding fish out. Come down the spine on the back. Make sure you stay as close as you can to those bones. You don't want to miss the meat this through and we didn't do what we did on the other side so we're getting some of the, the other th things that we don't want. Okay, I didn't get all this meat to detach. Here we go. Now we just want to come down here. Again, we want to go under these ribs and get them out of here. 
without taking much meat. Just like that. And here we go. I pretty much see. Uh, I missed a little bit meat down here. It's not a see-through, but you can tell you got it all and you can see right through the fish. All right, now to take the skin off, we're gonna try this here. Same thing as the other fish. I kind of cut into it and go between the skin and the meat. I keep a, a downward motion. Now a lot of people keep the skin on for different reasons, but I do like to take it off. Especially if you're going to use something like this um, ceviche or something like that with the pompano. You're not going to want the skin on there for that. Alrighty. And you can probably cut that bloodline out. We'll do it just for the fun of it. It may not be as necessary with a pompano. The meat's so good to begin with. But if you're going to take that out, you want to kind of come in at an angle so you're not losing much of meat. And again, we didn't bleed this guy out, so if we had bled him out, this bloodline would not be as pronounced. So I won't do the other one right now, but you get the idea. We're going to take the bloodline out. And then we've got your nice pompano filet. And that is it for filleting a pompano.